know, there's a battle with the younger generation mm-hmm. and the older generation. There's some type of disconnect there. You know, what do you feel is the disconnect? I think, that, like, how you talk to people. I think how you present yourself and how you talk to people is a, is a, is a premium. I mean, you can't just talk to any little kid like a little kid, even if he acts like a little kid. You got to be able to feed him the how he needs to feed him. Like I went back on the last conversation, you can't feed a baby a steak. You got to break it down and give him the baby food. And then when he's ready after that, then you give him some more. So you feel like the older generation didn't do their job in delivering. Right. I feel like the younger generation are way more receptive than we were. It's just that you got to know how to present it. If you're not setting an example, the right example, don't expect them to listen to you. They see everything you're doing now because nothing is to hide. So if you're not doing it, don't expect them to do it. Okay? You can get away with that 20, 30 years ago because nobody's watching. Everything is word of mouth. So I heard you with that. I heard you. But now I can see that's what you are. I'm not following that. I'm following this. So if you have more people who had a better dialogue in, in taking away the numbers game, because there's so many more young kids out there way more mature than older people. We, we not giving them the credit where the credit is due. I hear that a lot because I um, interviewed a few uh, like up and coming artists and we even had a whole debate in the head where I lost my whole entire shit. That's your day. Arguing, right? Yeah. Arguing uh, with an up and coming rapper. Shout out to 696 Maestro. Like, mm-hmm. He was really going at each other's neck. And he says that too. He says that too. Like, when are y'all going to give us the credit? When are y'all going to pass the torch? Like, we understand or whatever, but this is what we're doing now. How do right. You, what do you feel about that? I agree. I, I, I think, but you can, and with that statement, it, you know, it's impossible for you not to just intake from an elder because facts state you never stop learning. That's where, that's where my so, argument is. Yeah, so once you, once you stop thinking you know, once you think you know everything, you don't really know nothing. And you don't learn. So There's you no got to be recept Right, so you have what you know, but then you have what history knows. Because you're listening and you're receptive. Because if you don't know history, no matter what you know now, you're doomed to repeat the history. Mm-hmm. So you have to be receptive towards the whole board, not just half the board. You can't just knock a person off the board and say, you off the board now, I don't got to listen to you. That be saying move that knocks you off the board. If you're not listening, if you're not willing to sacrifice and take a, a taste of what Bumpy did, not what Big Meech did too, but what Bumpy did too. Mm-hmm. Right. Totally what was the last book you read? <laughs>